Today I wanted to talk about this. This is a uh, custom knife kit. You can build your own custom knife in a few hours with minimal tooling. So it has all the everything here. You just need to put your own handle on it, basically. Um, the wood handle itself. So we're gonna, we're gonna get into that here in a second. This costs like 20 bucks online, and let's get started. This here used to be the old garage for this house that my grandparents and my parents moved into. We moved into when I was little, younger I guess. Where they used to park their car when it back in the day. They bought this house in 1940-something. And these doors have always been here that I've ever known. I haven't stepped in there. Been in here in a while. Pretty simple setup. Two by fours, metal sheet, roof, some little shelves. In better days, just to cover your car up. That's all it is. Just not have a fence here apparently. Go in the back. Now today what I'm gonna be doing is as you see these two pieces here is from um a garage that my grandparents had. And there's actually lap siding. And what I thought would be cool to take and make a knife handle out of the siding of the garage. And I'll make some other stuff with this. And I may keep some pieces of it just for my own. But for today, what I want to do is try to save as much as possible the uh, paint that's on this wood but I'm going to shave it down so it'll make kind of a memento and it looks like I'm going to have to shave quite a bit or make the handle a lot larger than what's intended which is fine It could be a bulky knife. But I wanted to keep some of that paint as a reminder of the past. Currently five degrees outside. This is not a heated shop. Woo! It is chilly. First I gotta cut this down. And then I gotta cut it again. So it's currently five degrees outside. There's no heat in this garage. And I gotta cut this down. And I gotta have a way to take and kind of shove it and all that stuff. I'm getting loud here in a second.
Let me put the brick in. Okay. Wow. Again. So they bought this house in nineteen forty two to forty five and they started a light there. I wanted to kind of make something for my father for his Christmas present. It seems like that'll work. Now I just got to make sure the length was good enough, but I did not measure. I just cut. Yeah, that should be good enough. Now I gotta cut this in half and then cut it again. And at some point, We'll make the decision of cutting it down or leaving the handle as wide as it is. That could be a bulky knife. Not to say that he's ever going to use this as a knife, but it would be nice to have it shaved down with the hair. And then I'll have to find something to shove that with. take this to a, uh, a jigsaw, a reciprocating saw inside the house. I'll put it in the one room that it doesn't get a lot of traffic going to it. Cause I don't think I'm going to take and try to cut this down. It's just, just a little too violent for my taste. Plus it's five degrees outside and I'm cold. the knife handle roughly cut out I'm gonna have to take in do some sanding I don't 
the back side. You know, I just kind of wonder how this would be if it had it thick and bulky. I mean, that's a bulky handle. Of course, like I said, he would never use this knife. Probably too much of a, mem a memento for him. I think that would be kind of cool. I know we have to shave it down. That'd be a gnarly knife right there. That's what it looks like. Since these two pieces are too small to deal with, I cut from another piece here, divided it on one side, and I'm going to go back to the top here, I have a longer piece to work with, and then I'll cut it in half, and then make them into handles again, and then we'll go from there. It's still got a lot of paint on it, but yeah. Okay, so I got both sides shower. I left the ridge here because they didn't have it high enough. It's all the further it would go. Um, it's a very shallow bit. Now I'm just going to have to take and go over the top and make this flat. Here's the first knife handle. Cut it down. I'm going to work on the next one, the next side. Which is going to be this one. I believe that's bird group too. We're going to seal it all after we get this drilled out. I'm going to sand it down, make it all nice and smooth. And then I'm going to drill the holes out. And I'm going to poly coat this so everything that's on the outside here stays there. So if that bird poop, it might be on there. It might stay there. I don't know. We'll see. The bird poop made it. So I'm going to take it out back in the cold again and I'm going to sand this down with a orbital sander I have and then we'll mark the spots for the drill, for the drill bit to go. And uh, I'll have to poly coat it sometime but I'll take and just probably attach it to the knife. We'll see. It's, it's five degrees outside. We'll see. Back out in the cold weather here. Do a little bit of sanding. too good in there. What did it? I don't want to burn it up. Of course, it's a tool top, but... <laughs>
the uh, knife with me and I think the drill bit that I have and the drill press is the right size. We'll see. Now reading the literature, they want you to take and basically buy their handles and stuff and you just refinish them. That's what I'm getting at. Um, it does tell you how to do stuff and blah, blah, blah and whatever. Uh, so we're just going to attach the screws into the wood and go from here. Hopefully they are long enough. And if they are not, I will have to take and get longer screws. But should hopefully fit. And I may have to get longer screws. I used the right drill bit. I believe I used the right drill bit that I recommended. And it looks like I will most likely oh, have to get longer screws. I didn't take that in consideration. Yep, I will. I'll have to countersink them. And I don't think I want to do that. So we'll have to find out the thread of those screws if they include that. Long screws, quantity four. Nope. So, I did not include those screw size. So I'm not sure what size screws they are. Okay. I mean, I can always take it, probably take in. No, I'm not gonna go over the right over this again. It's just smaller of an area. All right, yeah, we'll go find some longer screws. That sucks. So close. Yep, so far away. And uh, somehow the bear poop got off. That's all right. Here's the belt clip. That makes it look pretty cool, doesn't it? There you go. Pretty awesome, I think. For 20 bucks, you can take and Buy a knife kit. Thing here. And then turn it into something that's going to be memories you know, of the past. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.